by leaders of the Pacific Islands have rejected a China-backed call to break ties with Taiwan, saying that the regional bloc would continue a decades-old policy of engagement with Taiwan. Members of the Pacific Islands Forum, who have gathered in Tonga for an annual summit, they batted aside a push by one of Beijing's allies to stop treating Taiwan as a partner. In a final communique, the bloc leaders reaffirmed a 1992 agreement that allowed talks with Taipei. Solomon Islands, China's main partner in the South Pacific, had lobbied for Taiwan to be stripped of partner status. Well, Beijing has aggressively sought to exclude Taiwan, a self-governing island of more than 23 million people, from international forum and rejects its claims to autonomy further. Now, the Pacific Islands Forum is split between countries that have diplomatic ties with Beijing and others like the Marshall Islands. Palau and Tuvalu, which are allies of Taipei. Taiwan sent Deputy Foreign Minister Tieng Chong Kuang to Tonga, seeking to reinforce ties with its shrinking list of Pacific Island allies. Solomon Islands Foreign Minister Peter Agovka on Friday showed little sign of dropping efforts to reform the way the bloc does business with Taiwan. He said, that a review of the bloc should ensure that members are sovereign states, not states that are governed by another jurisdiction. Solomon Islands will host the Pacific Islands Forum in 2025. The South Pacific was once seen as a bastion of support for Taiwan's claim to statehood, but China has been whittling this down. In the last five years, Solomon Islands Kiribati and Nauru, they have all been persuaded to sever their diplomatic ties with Taiwan in favor of China. Palau has an election this year in which the country's links to Taiwan and a potential switch to China, it figures as a major campaign talking points.